Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. This will be a video on the Daryl Carroll spinoff show, a little bit of the news about that. And it's not really big news. It's just interesting to kind of see how it kind of started the idea and how it played out and changed over time. The show ending up ending, going to end at the end of season 11, the Mothership show, that changed things a little bit. But let's see kind of what Norman Reedus had to say about it all. I'm getting this information from an Entertainment Weekly EW.com article, but there were several articles on it talking about this information. And what Norman Rita said about the Daryl Carroll spinoff is that they were originally going to leave the show, Mothership show, that was not going to end, and then return to the main show from time to time. But then the show came up, it was going to end, and they moved the show instead of it being a companion series or whatever it may be called, it'll be a post series after a continuation they're calling it but i don't i don't know about a continuation still seems like a spinoff or i would call it still a spinoff a continuation of daryl and carol's story but will there be anyone else or will we ever see anyone else so norman Reed has said that they started talking about the daryl carol spinoff and what they may do with that back during around the snow episode and that's the season nine finale. And it was filmed at the end of 2018. And Norman said that's when they started talking about it. Rita said he pitched some ideas. And Angela King and Scott Gimple liked the ideas, had some of the same type of ideas. Melissa McBride agreed and had ideas as well. They said they got so excited about the prospect that they both started making Spotify playlists as inspirational soundtracks for the series. And their vision for the show lined up with Kang and Gimple. But the big change in all of it came when AMC decided to end the show at the end of season 11. Because before that, the talks was that Daryl and Carol were going to leave the show and just visit from time to time. Because the main Mothership show would still be going. How they were going to take that past the Rick movies and stuff that's going to happen there and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what Gimple had in mind. What's, what's after Commonwealth? Um, if Commonwealth and CRM kind of fight and do whatever they're doing, what's after that in the main show? Because seemingly Scott Gimple didn't agree with AMC to end the show. He wanted it to keep going. He had ideas for it to keep going. Past that, they had already had the Rick movies and CRM and all of that stuff put into the show. All of those ideas were still there. They had something planned for the Mothership show after they had like a season 12 season 13 season 14 i'm sure gimple had thought that out and had planned some of that out knowing what the story would be going forward we don't know that i don't know that it'd be cool to know maybe he'll do an interview you know later on after either during or after season 11 and he'll say well this is where it could have went but they're doing a lot of spinoffs they're doing tales of the walking dead they're doing other stuff where we may get some of that actual story but it seems like now it's going to be as some type of continuation of daryl and carol rita said i didn't know the flagship show would end the whole thing was we would take off and we'd come back and check in and we would take off so i didn't know what was going to happen and to be honest i was hoping that would never happen because you know that's the mothership show and i'm scared to leave the mothership it's scary new ground i mean i'm excited for the spinoff and i'm excited for the type of show it will be but I didn't see that coming. Of course, they did put that little seed or planted that seed, you could say, in the 2019 season 10 premiere where Daryl and Carol spoke about hopping on a motorcycle and heading out west to New Mexico. And Angela Kang did say it's going to be more like a road show of these guys traveling around. So that just kind of, I, I can't picture it, but can't wait for it. So as far as the original Daryl Carroll thing, they were going to go out to places and then come back go out to places and come back and visit not to come back and live for a while then go back out i think it was just a check in like norman Reed has said with that out of the way i'm sure commonwealth the communities will join commonwealth kind of like they did in the comic and it will end something like that so it definitely makes you ask why they wouldn't go back and maybe visit so we'll just have to see how it all plays out plus at the end of season 11 they do some huge time jump well, before the time jump, will we see Daryl and Carol ride off into the distance and then know that, well, we won't see them again until 
their first episode of their series, The Daryl Carroll Show. But then we do a 20-year time jump or whatever, like kind of like it did in the comic, and we see a young Judith grown up with a, a son named Rick or a daughter, you know, that kind of thing, or kind of how it played out, you know, in the comic. But will we see Daryl and Carol again ever? Uh, you know, how will they play that out? That's the interesting part to me is just kind of how they're going to play everything out. But what do you guys think about what what is happening and, and how it is playing out and how what do you guys think about the Daryl Carroll show now it's going to be a continuation a post season 11 show instead of something that goes right beside it how do you guys think about all that do you think the Daryl Carroll show will be worth it you know um in in one side of my brain is kind of saying I wish they would end it and end it well and even though ratings have went way down they can still end it very well compared to so many other series and shows and different things they could really have a good package from beginning to end include the movies hope they go well in the spinoff shows as far as fear world beyond to be over and then it'll all be gone tales of the walking dead i think would be okay to continue with um so that's one side of my brain but the other side of my brain is very excited to see all the possibilities daryl carroll tales of the walking dead and anything else they can throw at us. But again, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.